Gutfeld investigates. <laughs> Tonight on Gutfeld Investigates, a man marched into Dick's room modeling Fruit of the Loom. Yeah, well, discussing this week's Iowa caucus results, political author and commentator Dick Morris seemed unaware of something very out of the ordinary happening behind him. Watch. Well, I think Trump is going to score a huge victory. I think the media is going to try to downplay it because, as you correctly said, they're basically supporting um, uh, Ron, they're basically supporting Nikki Haley. <laughs> Yes, we know what Brian Stelter's been doing since he left CNN. <laughs> so what just happened there? What happened? All right, let's turn to our crack Gutfeld investigators for a more in-depth investigation. Tonight, the Gutfeld Investigative Unit presents an enigma caught on camera with your host, Brad Pitt. <laughs> January 2024, a scantily clad figure emerges from the shadows on live television undetected. What is he looking for? His pants? A shirt? A misplaced hoagie, perhaps? And what of the location? Could it be a kidnapper's lair? An abandoned safe house? Or could it be a game of strip poker gone awry? What sort of plans does Dick Morris have for him? A pillow fight? A game of more cheesy? Or something more sinister? And could it be possible the man was never really there? Excellent work, team. Now, we've reached out to Dick Morris a number of times. I called him personally. Five and minutes. Him five minutes. I've been calling him all day. Which is weird since we were next to each other in bed. Oh. But earlier he told one of our producers he wouldn't be commenting and ended the conversation with a strange chuckle, which raises the question, what's he hiding? Where was he exactly? Who was that man? Why was he in his underpants? Could Dick Morris have been taken hostage by a retired plumber? And why can't that plumber afford a sports bra? Was he a friend, a co-worker, a paid escort? And if so, when Dick calls the escort service, does he say, send me someone who looks like Fred Mertz? <laughs> Could there be a clue to all this in that oddly placed painting in the background? But Morris won't comment. When I texted him, he said he can't comment because he's on contract with Newsmax, which led to another mystery. What the hell is Newsmax? <laughs> <laughs> Tyrus, we were just here. We called him oh, again. Wow. He picked up the phone. He goes, I didn't pick up the phone five times for a reason. I can't comment. <laughs> what is going on? I need to know what you think. Okay. <laughs> So for many, 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 many years, I was a bodyguard. Yeah. And uh, our job is to always find the best scenario to explain to the wife. Mm. So I'm going to try to <laughs> try to do that right now. Um, so they're getting ready to work out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's ready to go. It's leg day. Yes, leg day. And uh, he told him that the interview was only going to be about 10 minutes. But once you start stretching, yeah. once you get those hamstrings and those bicuspids burning and you get ready to go to your legs, you can't wait. Yeah. And the rumor, the, the word has always been to the fellas in the gym, when it's time to go to work, it's time to go to work. Yes. He came out ready to go to work, pay no attention to the mascara over his eyes. He came <laughs> to go to work. That is to get the sun from bouncing off his cheeks when he's squatting. So he's ready oh, to God, work. God, he does have a mascara on his he's eyes. He's ready to work. Either that has been punched in the eye a lot, but again, yeah. that we've not established a safe word. But <laughs> probably the best part of this whole thing is when you pause it like that. <laughs> Look at his I got caught face. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got to explain this to why there's a bear in his hotel room. There is a bear. Lions and tigers. <laughs> nope, just a bear with mascara on. So just to work out, Greg, just a little Greco-Roman wrestling with your favorite workout buddy. Nothing to see here. All right, Nothing Kat. at all. Cat, give us your analysis. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to be judgmental no. of the guy. No. You know, if my chest looked that full without a bra, I wouldn't wear one either. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'm like, just because I'm jealous of his rack doesn't mean, you know, like, I don't want to hate on him. Um, he also, I think we could all learn a lot from the confidence exhibited through his walk through the apartment. Like, he, his, he has the best posture I've ever seen yeah. anyone have in my entire life. And I don't think he has an I just got caught face. I think his, I think he doesn't react at all. Yeah. I think totally. that neither of them react at all. It's just like, busy. maybe if I don't say anything, nobody will notice. That's <laughs> the I don't, that, as a man, you don't yes, have to be we will. straight. You don't, yes, we will notice no. that he's like wearing like Forever 21 clothes. <laughs> <laughs> walking past your, like, dude, and he, he's coming from, like, that's not like another room. Is that like the garage? Yeah, I don't know coming? what's going on. Did he just wander in from outside? Katie? Thoughts? You must have run into Dick Morris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For years. Yeah. Um, You're not, not his type. Was he a big workout leg day guy like I... <laughs> I think dream on, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> um, the thing is, he's done this before. Yeah. Heard? Dick Morris, and you won't remember, because you probably weren't even born then, but in the uh, Clinton administration, so Dick Morris has came to fame because he was the campaign manager, the pollster of, of Bill Clinton, helped engineer his victory in the White House. But... Dick Morris had to resign because he had a, I don't know, what do you want to call it? A lady foot of the fetish? Night? He, well, he had a foot fetish, but he paid for the person who helped him with his foot fetish. What would you call that? Um, a Someone who contributes to the economy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he went from foot fetish to big dude fetish. Okay. Clearly. That's not really but he helping. had to resign. Not because he had a girlfriend who he was paying, who played with his feet. But because while she was doing that, he was on the phone with President Clinton. Right. Oh, yeah. So. There you go. All right, Jamie. Um, you, uh, has this ever happened to you where strange men in their underwear just walk into your home unannounced? No, but this similarly has happened to me while I was FaceTiming my ex-wife. Um, <laughs> In his defense, after you see enough guys in their boxers walking around, you don't even notice them. Um, can I see it one more time? Can I see the... Yeah. He, he looks like the guy in the back, to Tyrus's point, he looks like he just worked out, but for the first time ever. <laughs> right? And this is... What if there's somebody tied up behind that door and he's just yeah. walking out, going to get a Sprite? Yeah. <laughs> It look, by the way, you only put on this type of shirt when you're about to be arrested. Yes. <laughs> well, it does match the Speedos, the, the biker shorts. Maybe yeah. they were going to ride bikes. Yeah. Well, if he did put a push-up bra on, he could have cleavage up to his chin. <laughs> I know he's in the polls, but that's you know, ridiculous. You know, if Dick, Mar if Dick Morris had just given me a quote, we could have had some, you know, uh, I'm going to quote a movie here. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> last word, Jamie? No, I j uh, the last thing I wanted to say was when I did call Max's wife on this, she claimed that the house was haunted by a ghost with an erection. <laughs> that um, looked a lot like a guy she went to high school with. Um, <laughs> I don't blame Dick for not commenting. That was, that was amazing. Yeah. All right.